Hello guys and welcome back. Now I would argue that one of the items that needs to be in every well-dressed man's wardrobe is a good leather jacket. And the problem with leather jackets is that they're always expensive. And you know, sometimes it's just a matter of you get what you pay for. You can get cheap leather jackets, but they look like cheap leather jackets. You're not gonna have them for very long and you're gonna have to buy another one. So really when you kind of consider the price per wear and the fact that a good leather jacket may last several lifetimes, the price is usually worth it. In fact, you know, I remember my first leather jacket. It was given to me as a gift and uh, it, it was very, I don't know, it was kind of like what you would think of when you think of like a cheap leather jacket. It had really low armholes, so you had that kind of like wing thing when you put your arms out. Uh, it was just sort of cheaply made. It fit like a box. It was very billowy, uh, but I wore it for several years because really I didn't know any better. It was warm and it was a leather jacket. Hey, that's cool. So then what I bought was a leather jacket for riding my motorcycle. And this was different because a riding jacket usually has padding uh, in the shoulders and the elbows and places in case you ever do go down, uh, you have something between you and the pavement. Also, it's cut a little bit differently. The sleeves are usually very long because when you're reaching out, you don't want them coming down so the sleeves are much longer and usually around the waist it's much shorter because you're in a sitting position all the time so a leather jacket meant for riding is really a specific piece which usually doesn't look too good when you're not on a motorcycle. Now you may remember a few weeks ago when I reviewed the Satchel and Page Diplomat and in that video I was really really impressed with the price and what you get. I mean really the value is totally solid. You're getting you know the copper rivets and uh, you know the vegetable tanned French leather and it was just put together so elegantly. I was really really impressed with that bag and the company as a whole. The people over there seem really, really cool. It's a small company, so the, the people can really, they'll take care of you, you know? So I was really actually pretty surprised to see that they had leather jackets on their website. Now, when I see Satchel and Page, I think, you know, I mean, Satchel is the first word in the company name. So I think, all right, they're a bag company. And, and there's a lot of companies out there who only deal in small leather goods, you know, whether that's wallets and bags, whatever. I was really surprised to see that they had leather jackets there. Now, the first thing that I noticed when I went onto the jacket page was the beautiful photography. And this sometimes could be misleading because often guys who are shaped a little bit differently like me have a hard time fitting into what fits a model well because we know these models usually they're very thin, they're usually very tall, kind of lanky, and uh, basically anything looks good on them. Well, what about guys like me who are a little bit shorter, a little bit wider? Uh, you know, a lot of times we have hard times fitting into things. So I was a little bit skeptical, but I really, really liked the look of their jackets, especially the bomber jacket. Now, bomber jackets, they're just cool. They're like timelessly cool. They're gonna look good you know, 100 years from now, they looked good. 100 years before now, they're gonna look good all the time. So if you're gonna buy one, it's worth investing the money and getting a good one. This has a lot of the same features that are on their bags, and I really wasn't too worried about getting a good product. It was more that fit. And when I saw that it has a tailored fit, I was a little bit apprehensive. Now there are a lot of different flavors of bomber jacket depending on which one you pick in military history. This one is definitely patterned after the G1 jacket and if you're not familiar with what that is, that's the same thing that Tom Cruise wore in Top Gun. So it has the fur collar, the whole thing. And uh, it's very, very popular look. It just, it's timeless, it looks great. And as a matter of fact, the military started using it in 1938 and they still use it to this day. So it's a great jacket. Now that fur collar is actually Spanish shearling wool on the Satchel and Page model. This is no faux fur kind of thing. This is actual shearling and uh, it has a number 10 YKK zipper. So as with their bags, they put a lot of thought into the construction and giving you quality materials that will hold up for a long time. Now, one of the hallmarks of the G1 bomber jacket is the ribbed cuff and hem. And the reason that they did this on the military versions was to keep the cold air out and the warm air in by creating a tight seal around your wrist and around your waist. Now, that works just as well in civilian use to keep you warm and to just keep the, the drafty air out. This is something that some guys like and some people don't. If you have a lot of hair on your arm, uh, this may be a little bit uncomfortable as you rotate your wrist. It may get caught and pull in there, but I haven't really noticed any problems. Now, when my jacket finally came in, I had my fingers crossed that the fit was gonna be acceptable because as you know, when something says tailored, that can mean anything from skinny to anything that's just not classic fit. So I was wondering 
where in that range this jacket was gonna fit. Now I'm happy to report that the fit is decent. Actually, it's really a welcome change for most leather jackets. It's definitely trimmer throughout the midsection, which is really nice because a lot of times most jackets have this kind of like deflated balloon look to them. The armholes are nice and high so you don't have that wing thing that I was talking about earlier. The one thing that I would change is maybe shortening the sleeves just a little bit because they're definitely long, but the nice thing is that those ribbed cuffs, they really keep everything nice and at my wrist. So it doesn't bother me that much. Now let's talk about some of the details because it's the details that really make something special. So this number 10 zipper is nice and chunky. It really fits the scale of the whole jacket. And it also has this storm flap on the inside. Now what this does is it keeps that cold wind from going right through the zipper tangs, especially when it's a bigger zipper. The pieces that interlock are bigger. There's a little bit more space between them so air can get in. So if it's really, really windy out, you can definitely feel some cold coming through there. So you'll see on a lot of technical wear, a lot of outer wear, uh, they'll have a storm flap like this, which just keeps, you know, keeps the hot air in, the cold air out. And that's what the whole idea is. Now, one of the other nice things is that this fur collar is removable. It's very easily removable too. So they came up with this little interesting thing. All you have to do is unsnap underneath here, and then it's just a zipper along the back. Now, if you don't like this collar, you can remove it. You can put it into your closet or something and just never have to look at it again. But one of the nice things about having this removable is that this jacket can really be used in all four seasons. In the summer nights when it gets a little chilly, in the winter time when you could put this on and put the, the collar up, it's a really cozy garment. And that's what's so nice about leather jackets. They look really cool where if you wear a ski parka, it better be cold to justify actually wearing that garment. But leather jackets, they're cool all year round. One of the other little details that I like is this little throat latch, and it's a little bit lower than a traditional throat latch, which would usually go between the collar points right here. This one just sort of goes across the top, so it's not gonna choke you, it's a little bit lower, but it definitely secures it in place, and it's just a cool look in general. It sort of brings a little bit of that moto jacket look into the bomber style. Now, when we turn this jacket around, here's one of the key elements in making a leather jacket comfortable, and that's this gusseted back right here. Now, I've seen this called a uh, bi-swing back, a, uh, an action back, Basically, all it is is a gusset. And with a material like leather, which doesn't have a lot of stretch, this is totally key to making it comfortable. Because when you go to give somebody a hug or do anything where you have to sort of bring your shoulders together, it allows that movement. And just that range of motion makes it so much more comfortable. I'm so glad that they included this. And yeah, of course, we all wanna look good when we wear something, but not at the expense of being comfortable. You wanna be able to be comfortable, look good. And I'm glad to say that Satchel and Paige put the thought into this that it deserved to make it do both. Now, if you remember on my Satchel and Page Diplomat review, I commented on how much I liked the tartan lining and I'm glad to say that they've carried that over from their bags to their leather jackets. And they've given you this really soft, very cozy cotton lining. And the nice thing about this is that it almost looks kind of vintage. This whole jacket sort of has that look to it that it's not brand new and people can tell, hey, here he comes with his brand new jacket. This almost looks a little bit vintage right out of the box and that's really, really cool. So this tartan lining definitely adds to that. It has a brushed surface to it. So it's very, very cozy, very soft to the hand. And another thing that I just love on jackets is they have a little tiny interior pocket here, which is also lined in the same tartan. So if you wanna put your phone on the inside of your jacket, you can. I'm just, I'm so glad they included that. I love interior pockets and uh, it's, it's perfect. It's right there, it has a snap closure. You can't beat it, it's wonderful. The one thing that I wish they would have done though is they continued this tartan lining down the sleeves. That works out just fine if you have short sleeves on or something that's not very bulky, but if you wear something like this shirt I'm wearing right here, this is from Taylor Stitch, and if you're wearing something like a flannel, it could be a little difficult to put your arms into those sleeves. Now, yes, it is a cozier jacket and having that lined in a nice soft fabric definitely helps out when it's a little bit warmer. But if you're layered up, sometimes it could be a little bit of a hindrance to put it on. Now, being that this is calf leather, it's very soft right out of the box. It's not so soft as lamb, but it's not quite steer hide either. So you don't have to worry about breaking in it over years and it being really stiff, especially in the beginning. This is right in the middle. It's a great balance between the two hides. So if what you're looking for is something you can put on that number one looks vintage and it also feels vintage and worn in, well, they really hit the nail on the head. 
Now, every time I review a piece of clothing, I always get comments from people asking to see it on and see me wearing it. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm just a little bashful. I'm no model, so a lot of times I like to do the review just about the piece. But I can see where that would be useful to some people, especially if you're built like me and uh, you have the same kind of proportions, maybe that would be really beneficial to somebody, especially when it comes to an investment piece like this, where you're gonna drop some serious coin. You wanna see how it's gonna fit on not just the models on the site, but a regular guy like me. So. That's why I want to include these shots in here for you. Now, of course, we have to talk about price. And as you know, a good leather jacket is not cheap. Whether we're talking about shot in New York City, where you can get into a good leather jacket for about 900 bucks, or we're talking about Real McCoy London, where you know we're talking about several thousand dollars, or Himmel Brothers, or any of those other places that offer high-end leather goods, usually the barrier to entry is about a thousand dollars. And uh, I'm glad to tell you that this is about half of that. This jacket right here is 545 bucks. And that's actually marked down from 595 bucks. So you're talking about a really good value here uh, for what you're getting. I, I really wouldn't think twice if the fit seems like it's spot on. And I think that they can do some custom orders because there is a little thing in there that says, you know, custom orders may take like four to six weeks or something. They may be able to do something if their proportions don't seem quite right to you. Um, you may be able to get yourself a custom or semi-custom jacket. So Really, for half the price of what I would expect to pay, you're getting a hell of a jacket. And uh, I mean, it looks good, it feels great, it's made out of some really nice materials. It's a cool, smaller company with people you can actually talk to. So if you like the look, and you like the feel, and you like the price, I mean, I really don't think you could go wrong. I've gotta tell you, I am really impressed with Satchel and Page. They're a small company who are making some really nice stuff and offering it at a decent price. And they're always coming out with new stuff. They just came out with uh, their portfolio. So, you know, they're small enough too that they can keep making new products and keep things fresh and interesting. So if you're toying with the idea of getting a leather jacket, but the price really kind of scares you away, you owe it to yourself to check this thing out because for about half of what you would spend elsewhere, you are getting some excellent materials, a wonderful product, which is just cut nice and trim very modern, doesn't look like your dad's leather jacket. And uh, it's kind of a no brainer if you're in the market for one of these things. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>